All right, so here is the template of my task hub that I have created to simulate what a work experience could be. So this system essentially has the daily planner aspect of the relational database with the filtering set up so that like the date is today and the status is not checked off. And there's going to be some interesting sorting that I'll get to in a second, but there's also a capture inbox where it's date is empty, status is not checked, and you created it today. There's also an unsorted to-do section, which is similar. However, it's just a date is empty. And then there are going to be uh, a place here for the different recurring tasks that you could have. So you could put anything in here that you'd want. Uh, essentially, you basically, if you ever want to make a template button in general, in Notion, what you could do is you could do slash template type uh, Tuesday task. And then you can create whatever recurring tasks you'd probably have at work in here. And then drag it into this and make sure you have one space on top. And then essentially you press that button and anytime you want to make that recurring task, it'll make it like that. But that's the setup that we have for you guys. Uh, there are going to be a lot of different things that I want to get into, but first and foremost is what I like to call the TLP method. So in a previous video, I talked about the TLP method in Todoist and the, the logic still applies here. So it's date, life bucket, and then uh, the priority. However, when we're looking at something like this, what we can have here is instead of life bucket, client or task type. So when we're looking at something at work, I mean, there are circumstances where certain clients take precedent over others, or there are certain types of work that take precedent over others. So if we have a system made, so if we look here, the TLP method sorts as such. Date is ascending, priority is ascending, and then what you could do is set a client as ascending. So for example, if we look at this tasks, let's make ad hoc priority one, client one, example, priority one. And then let's do another one example, ad hoc priority two, client one, example, two. As we can see, obviously here, it's going to sort in that order. First would be time, second would be by priority. Now, if we go one step further, right, and we take this ad hoc priority one, example, clients one, and we actually go here and we press client one, and then take this, make it client two, as you can see, it's a priority one that is for a lower priority client. So this could also take into the effect of, say, you have a task type, for example, like you have to write reports, maybe that takes precedent over something else. And if you set it up in this fashion, you can sort of systemize the way that you prioritize your tasks at work so that you're always doing the most important thing first. So the sorting here is as such, you could maybe switch it between the client and the priority. It's an option there as well, but it's important that you have something that you stick with consistently or else you're just going to be put in a circumstance where you may be doing tasks in the wrong order and talking with your direct supervisor and others at your company that have those kind of answers are going to help you more than a guy on the internet talking about notion but the system uh, and the template here are going to help you in work in general because you'll be able to be pretty organized so in order to have some nice upkeep here what you could do is as you can see in the recurring tasks there are some options that you have and I want to show you how you can plan your weeks in a way that keep you nice and organized in work so as we all know recurring tasks are really nice functionality and unfortunately notion does not have an amazing recurring task system at the moment however they have something they have something that's okay they have something that you can do in the current format that we have and that's that this that's this example uh setup that i have going on here so if you want to set up recurring tasks uh, so that you can set up different planning sessions throughout the day what i would recommend would be to go through all these templates and put what, you know, examples you have of like, okay, Monday through Friday, what sort of different tasks am I going to probably be doing? And then if I go in here and just finish these off real quick, what I can do 
is at the beginning of every week, day, middle of the day, end of day, and the beginning of every month. So first and foremost, at the beginning of every month, what I can do is I can press this and then, so we had November 1st, have the beginning of every month. So that's beginning of month tasks there. And then on Monday, we can look and be like, all right, what tasks do I have to do today? Drag this guy here as well. And then we, at the beginning of every week, just go through and literally duplicate all of these and put their ex these uh, example ones, but are actually like reports or something like that and go through and drag them to the appropriate days of the week. And then at the beginning of every day, we can, we can look and see, for example, if we had a capture inbox from today, it's like this, this thing needs to get done. Essentially at the end of the day, since the created time would no longer be today, what would happen is it would live in this unsorted to do section. So every single day you can go through and look at, okay, um, I need to do this today. Let's say if it was made on Monday, then the next day I can look over. If you like this video, thank you for watching. I will link all of my other Notion videos right somewhere up here in an end card. And without further ado, I'm gonna end this thing in a very awkward sense because I awkwardly said the wrong thing. Like I said, without further ado, is that the video is gonna keep going, but I'm gonna cut this awkwardly.